All right, everyone, we are back for more of my gameplay on Luigi's Engine Room on Mario Party for the Nintendo 64. I have Nick the Enlightened here with me. Yeah, I will talk more about that um, in just a moment, but anyways, um, we are on the last turn right now, so uh, anyways, let's finish up the game and see what happens from there. Luigi just got himself a speed block right there. Yeah, he is going to steal a star for Peach. Yeah, I was basically going to say right here for what Nick was talking about, it wasn't looking good for us, all because Peach had a big lead with three stars, but thankfully Luigi's stealing away one of the stars that Peach has, so that puts us a little closer in trying to get the win. It's so possible that we could win this year, you just never know. Oh, Warrior was a couple spaces short right there of that star. I, I'm gonna get a 10. But we're not gonna even have a chance to get to where the star is right there. That's a shame. Okay, so we're gonna do a four player mini game to finish it off. And we're gonna do Bombs Away. We did this mini game from earlier, but it looks like we are doing it again. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure you are right on that. Who would ever thought right here that um, a specific mini game would be the uh, first and last one out there? Oh crap! One of my opponents just pushed me off the platform when I was trying to jump right over them. Man, they're just you at this point. Not right. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Okay. So we still uh, have a chance to win. We just gotta hope that we can have uh, good luck on the ball stars here. Let's see how this all plays out from here. So let's take a look at all our stars that we earned. So Peach had the most of them in the end with two. Uh, Luigi had one, and me and Wario did not have any of them. Alright, now let's take a look at our coins. Luigi did have the most of those at the end with 98. Alright, time to give out those bonus stars. Alright, so we're going to start off with the game star. That goes to me. Alright, uh, now let's see who gets the coin star. Oh, uh, that goes to Luigi. Uh, I don't think we have a chance now, Yeah, I, I think we're totally screwed now all because of it. Let's just see who gets the happening star. That goes to Wario. Alright, uh, let's see who the winner is. It's Luigi. Yeah, that just ruined our chances right there on trying to win on this board. That, that is a shame. Yeah. Oh, well, we did the best we could. Yeah. We did try our best, that's all it matters. But anyways, here's what's happening on the board right here after the stars have been collected. So basically, it powers up the engine right here, and now this whole ship is flying. Yeah, that's very fitting. And yeah, you were right, we did come in last! Oh, that really sucks. So Luigi's the superstar for this game. Well, things just didn't work out well in our favor for what we were hoping for right there, but we tried. It was bad enough that we uh, lost out on the win in this game, but now it's even worse all because we uh, came in last. Yeah, but last place is never good. Yeah. 
that is just so rough right there for us that unfortunately had to happen right there but oh well what can you do Alright, but anyways, before we get ready to wrap things up here, let's go ahead and go over our detailed results. I did barely have uh, the mini aim star by uh, 3 over Peach. Uh, Luigi had the uh, coin star by 40 over Warrior, and we weren't even anywhere close for that. Well, that's a shame that it unfortunately had to screw us up like that, but it happens. Yeah. Alright, so looks like uh, Peach and Wario land on the most blue spaces, Luigi landed on the most red spaces, and me and Wario didn't even land on any red spaces at all. Uh, Wario had the happening star by one over me and Luigi, and Peach was the only one that didn't even land on a happening space. Everyone landed on one mini game space but Peach. Nobody landed on any chance type spaces. And me and Peach landed on the most mushroom spaces with two, while Luigi and Wario landed on one of them. And Luigi landed on the most balancer spaces with three, while the rest of us landed on one. So it's a shame that this game didn't go well for us, but we did try our best. Yeah. So, unfortunately, sometimes you just gotta take it out. We tried our best. Alright, anyways, let's put in our coins and our star that we uh, collected right here on the bank. Uh, yeah. Oh, um, I don't, I don't think I ever, uh, found this out before right here. So, depending on which character wins, uh, that, that's the kind of, uh, title screen for, uh, what shows up. Yeah, it, it, just, yeah, it just basically goes by whichever character won the last game you played. Oh, I did not even know that, but, uh, that, that is definitely a really cool fact right there that you share with me. Alright, well, regardless though, it, it was just not a very good game for uh, what we were hoping for, but it was still fun while it lasted. Yeah, we'll see uh, 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 later on right there uh, once we uh, uh, do another game of this. But, um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, anyways, I do want to thank uh, Nick the Enlightened for joining me as a special guest in this gameplay, so I really do appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure this was a fun game like I was talking about, but um, it's a shame that we ended up losing it, but things happen like that for a reason sometimes. Alright, but anyways, uh, that is going to do it for my gameplay on Luigi's Engine Room on Mario Party for the Nintendo 64. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.